Grob are well known for supporting the automotive industry, but we're about to dig deeper to find out what they do and what they've got planned for the future. So Carsten, um, what is it then that Grob do to support the industry at present? Yes, in our almost 100 years of history, we are supporting the automotive industry since the 1950s, 1960s with uh, custom-made uh, manufacturing lines from special purpose machines to machining centers and so on. And uh, since uh, the last couple of years where we also had this transformation towards e-mobility, we are also supplying our customers in the field of automotive industry with machining, but also assembly technology when it comes to electric motors and batteries. I mean, we are going to talk about some of the unique machines that you've got here to offer. They're incredible. But it's not just the machines, turnkey packages. Mm -hmm. That's massive for you. I would say this is uh, definitely our key to success because we are not just a machine tool builder for our customers, we are more like a solution provider for our customers. So it doesn't matter what our customers really uh, are looking for, if you are just looking for a machining center, stuff like this, we can provide them the whole package. It means they just provide us a part print or a 3D model and we do everything from scratch. We provide a solution for the machining process, the meaning machining center itself, clamping fixtures, automation, or everything. I mean, the infrastructure here is massive. There's, we're in Mindelheim at their open house at the moment, and we had a tour yesterday, and there's over 5,000 people working here to it's support like a city, all yeah. of that. It is, it, I like that, it's just <laughs> like a city. Yeah. Let's talk about the machine that we've got behind us as well, because not many people in industry have machines like this, and I think that's why you're geared toward this trade. Mm -hmm. So the G520, tell me about this. So uh, on the in-house exhibition this year, we have our G520F machine. Unfortunately, this machine is already sold, so uh, our customer will pick it up next week. <laughs> uh, this is at the moment our second biggest machine that we have when it comes to double spindle machines. So it means two spindles machining the whole or the, the same work part on different turntables at the same time. So in one cycle of the machine, it flows out two finished work parts. There's uh, another bigger size, the 720F, but this is more or less the same machine. And this is also a benefit that we can provide to our customers. Even if it's the 520F or 720F, it's the same machine in the end. Uh, means also when it comes to maintainability, spare parts and so on, this is a big benefit that we can provide to our customers. It's uh, everything more or less on the same machine base. I mean, the machine itself, the trunnion, the setup on this is really unique, yeah. isn't it? So what's happening on the table? So on the table we are machining, in this case, it's a battery case part. Uh, the part is almost 1.5 meters long, so that means our double spindle machine here has a spindle pitch of 1.5 meter and can machine these huge parts, as mentioned, two parts at the same time in one shot. Two parts at the same time, and the upside down machining as well. There's so yeah. much, the, the configuration of this ma machine is really unique. Yeah, absolutely. So what, what makes our machines unique is we have Y, A and B in the work part, and this helps us to flip the parts, machining them upside down. Especially in the automotive industry in the last couple of years, most of our customers want to go with MQL machining. And therefore, it's perfect to have the perfect pit, uh, chip fall from the, from the trunnion, from the clamping fixture down into the chip bin. And uh, that's, I would say, unique on the market and an absolutely benefit or yeah, a key of, of our success. I mean, just to help you and just to give you an idea, some of the parts and on this, it's like a pre-made kind of inside of a car, but some of the parts here that can be made on this machine, it just yeah. shows that these machines are really geared towards this industry. Now, just to kind of finish off, in the automotive trade, we know that there's, you know, there's a lot of secrets and we can't give too much away, but anything that kind of you can tease us with, it's kind of up and coming. Yeah, of course. So uh, as the market changes, also growth must change in the end uh, to, let's say, be always on speed what the market needs to get to cover the demands. So what we are doing right now, we are launching our new uh, platform, what is the G9 series. So far, the biggest machines are our G7 series. So now we continue with the G9, it means we have a platform for extrusion parts but also for a battery trays, so this huge battery trays up to three by 1.8 meters, as well as uh, a machine for mega and giga casting machining. And it's not just machining centers that you bring into market. Uh, beside the machining centers, we can also provide to our customers um, assembly technology when it comes to e-mobility. It means we can provide assembly technology for stators, for rotors, for battery cells, battery modules, battery packs, fuel cells, stack assembly, a whole bunch. Absolutely brilliant. Carsten, what do you think Rob do differently? Uh, I think we are listening to what the customer needs, what the customer tells us. We are just not one but, uh, somebody who sells machines from the shelf. It's more like we're looking for the tailor-made solution to uh, get out the best for our customers, Brilliant. their solution provider. There you have it, Carsten here at their open house event in Mindelheim. Thank you, Carsten. Thank you.